Hi, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I do two basic things. First, I talk about how to use a particular Python package to read text. This Python package, I'm going to spell it because I can't pronounce it, P-Y-T-T-S-X-3. I'm just going to call it TTS. I'm going to talk about how to use that Python package to take some text, either text that a user types in or text from a text file to have the program speak it. And then second, I want to go over how to take that sound and record it to disk. So that's the second thing. And then finally, just for fun, I put together a demonstration program that reads part of the script from Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. And that's just for giggles. But that's basically what I'm going to go over. I'm also going to walk through changing the voice that the program uses. You'll be able to get a printout of what voices your computer has on it and how to change the voice that you're using with your program. When you make a recording, then you can record different voices and different languages and different volumes and different rates. We'll go through all of that. It sounds like a lot, but I think it's going to be a relatively short video. First, let's talk about how to install the TTS package. What I did is I used PyCharm to install it. I am tempted to say that it worked like a charm, but that would be too funny. Okay, seriously though, it was an easy install. If you don't use PyCharm, then I would say use pip or pip3 to install it. And you can see the command up on the screen now, pip install package name. First of all, let's go through and do the Hello World program just to make sure everything is configured properly, everything works. First of all, we're going to import the TTS package. Then we're going to set up engine and then initialize the package and this text that's their example and then engine run and wait. Let's hit run and see if it works. Hello world. All right. Now one of the things that you're going to want to do is change the properties. Here you can see rate equals engine get property rate. And that will tell you at what rate that particular voice that you're using is speaking at. You can print it out and you can change it by using the set property attribute. So it's engine set property and then rate and then say 125. I believe the default there is 200. You can also in the same way increase the volume or decrease the volume. Just do engine get property volume. Either the volume the default is one but you can increase that to whatever you like. I would say to be safe, maybe between one and three. It's up to you, play around. Now, one of the more useful things that this particular sound package has is you can, instead of speaking text out loud, you can take a rather large piece of text and save it to file. And it'll take just a few seconds. So you do that in much the same way we've done anything else here. Just initialize the engine and then instead of saying engine say and then having it say something, some text, use save to file and then the text and then whatever file name you like to save it in. And then the same thing, engine run and wait and it'll generate the text and save it into, into the sound file. It's really super simple and it's awesome. I'm going to say a little bit about choosing a voice because there are so many different voices out there and it's really fun to play around with them. But there were almost a hundred voices on my computer, so it can be a bit of a chore. Also, what I did is I set up a class. I built a wrapper class, and then I built two classes that held the voice. So I, I set up three classes. I made a program with it that does a number of things, and you can play around with it. I've put everything on my GitHub. Go there, download it, play around, have fun. I put it under an MIT license, so modify it to your heart's content. But I'm just going to say a few things here. You can look at the code later and go through it, but I'm just going to say a few things here about the critical bits to help get you started. You can see this is cycle through voices. For me, it was useful to construct this little tiny procedure that would cycle through all of the voices on my machine and say a phrase in the voice and print out which voice it was so I could see which voices I wanted to experiment with further. And so this is really super simple. It doesn't require any classes or anything like that. And you see, I'm just initializing the engine engine get property voices and that one little command will give you a list of all the voices on your machine. Then in the for loop, all we're doing is we're step throughing each voice in voices and getting the voice ID. That is the thing that you need in order to call up a particular voice that you want to make the active voice. 
So here we're getting the voice ID for each voice and voices and we're setting the property voice to the voice ID and then that changes the voice and then we're getting the engine to say that something the cat is on the mat in that particular voice and then calling run and wait and you'll just cycle through every single voice on your computer. That's almost it. The very last thing I want to show you is something very silly. I made a script here. It's not really mine. I, I One of my favorite movies is Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. So I went and I called up the script and I modified it. Originally there's more characters in this. I made Indiana Jones and then one other character, Sapato, and I changed some of the lines because I didn't want to do a lot of typing, blah blah blah. Anyway, here it is. Indy and Satipo fan out to fight her way through the entwined trees that guard the temple. Visibility is cut to five feet in the heavy mist. Satipo extracts a short, native dart from a tree and examines the point gingerly. As Satipo shows Indy the dart, he says. The Hopi dogs are near. The poison is still fresh. Three days. I tell you, they're following us. If they knew we were here, they would have killed us already. In the undergrowth. There is a slithering movement. Their eyes are drawn to one of the trees that surround them. There is something. A desiccated corpse is attached to the trunk of the tree with arrows. So Pittal screams, Indy examines the corpse. So this is where Forrestal cashed in. A friend of yours? Competitor. He was good. Very good. No one has ever come out of their life. Why should we put our faith in you? Indy shows Satipo his map. Satipo looks at it with naked greed. Indy spreads out the map on the grass. Minutes go by as the men study it. Satipo leans closer, he says. It's a floor plan of the temple. It has to be. Indy nodded. That's how I figure it. No one else had this, only us. Will Indy survive the dangers that await him in the tunnel, or will he die an agonizing death like all those before him? The end. I hope this was some use to you. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you got something from this. I enjoyed making it. I'll see you in the next video, and in the meantime, good coding.